If you ever experienced times in your life where low energy and tiredness has kept you from doing what you want, well I have some good news for you in this video. My wife and I travel adventurously and never shy away from challenge or hard things. We push our limits and continue to improve so that we can see the hard things to see on this planet. We can think the seemingly endless energy on our fitness and training regime. In this video, we'll go over how you can become your own Energizer Bunny and how you can keep up with the toughest of travel experiences and have enough energy to keep on taking for another. But first, I'm Don. And if you love travel and adventure, you've come to the right channel where I share tips and experiences to make your next trip a wonder to behold. First, let's talk about fitness. The single most important takeaway from this video is fitness. Your ability to have ongoing energy will be based off of your body's ability to deliver energy and oxygen throughout itself. This of course improves as your level of fitness improves. You are never too old to focus on your fitness, but you have much better gains by starting young. As you get older, your body will always deteriorate and muscle and VO2 max capability. And so having a high bar, if you imagine it's a 10% depreciation over every 10 years, having the high bar will still allow you to live long in a healthy life through your, your golden years and be able to adventure more in your younger years. I recommend four different types of training. So you can't just go running, you can't just weightlifting, you have to do them all. And so the four different types, of course, I just mentioned two of them, is running or aerobic zone two training, which is a little bit slower running than a lot of people are used to. VO2 max training, which is also running or biking, anything that pushes your system. Weightlifting. Weightlifting is just time under resistance. And lastly, stability training that makes sure they have the balance and capability to prevent accident as you go through and on your adventures. I really just touched on all of those. I'm going to make sure I have much more detailed on all four of those and I'll make sure to reference them on the side. I'll pop up a card, go ahead and click that card and watch that video later. And those videos will help guide you through the different types. Basically, by creating a strong low energy system, your body will be much more efficient and you'll be able to do more without having to go into higher zones, which tires your body out faster. So if you can think if you can have a strong zone two base and you can pretty much be jogging and carrying a backpack long distance and not even be breaking a sweat, that's a pretty good position to be in with the zone two training. And then you have VO2 max, which is your aerobic capacity and your ability to perform hard things past your limit and still be able to perform. And weightlifting is super critical for men and women. And it improves your muscle mass and capability to absorb shock and protect your skeleton, your internal organs, as well as regulating body heat. Lastly, stability helps with many things while you're traveling and venture from basic steadiness, balance, and making sure that you avoid falls and accidents while on travel that can cause permanent injury. Sleep can be especially hard on travel as you're contending with time zone changes and being constantly on the go, it's easy to lose track of sleep as a priority. But I urge you to focus on getting deep and meaningful sleep. Sleep is of course important on or off travel and it's important to get good amounts of deep sleep and REM. The way to imagine it is you're getting deep sleep like a submarine and you have to spend a lot of time in deep sleep and then once you've hit the peak of your deep sleep amount of your sleep cycle, your submarine will start coming back to the surface and that's when it'll go into REM. So if you disrupt your deep sleep before you actually go all the way to the top, you'll disturb your sleep cycle and maybe never get to REM. Or if the conditions are right, your deep sleep cycle will be much shorter and you won't get as much deep sleep or REM. And that's why it's so important. Failure to get good sleep will take its toll, especially in the long term. Lack of sleep will lead to lower energy extraction from your food, less bodily repair, slower brain function, and mood swings. As all things, 
It's not so much here having bad sleep one day, two days. It's more important to focus in the long term and having a good sleep schedule and practice good sleep hygiene for the long term that's going to count and really help you make sure you're adventuring and traveling for a long term and enjoying your travels. Hydration is critical for your body to function. If you go without water for two to three days, you could die. And just being hydrated for more than four or five hours could lead to drastically impaired bodily function as your body starts trying to preserve water and cutting a lot of energy and to try and make sure it has a long-term water storage plan. Further, making sure that you're drinking from the right water sources, especially on travel, avoiding tap water or anything that could be unclean is important. So you have to, if you're not sure if your water is clean, make sure you boil it. In a lot of hotel rooms when you're on travel, they usually have like a coffee maker or some water boiler. Make sure you use that and make sure the water is clean before you drink it. Drinking clean water and keeping hydrated is a key mindset because failure to do so will also drastically increase the amount of fatigue your body will go under for basic things. If you're feeling like you're getting tired really fast, it might be because you're not drinking enough water. So keep the hydration going and make sure it's a clean water source. Let's talk about diet. Just as important as hydration is diet, but diet is also an extremely opinionated world. And there's some YouTube channels out there that specialize in talking about diets, and this is not a diet channel. So I'll leave it to those other channels. However, if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about diet, I am more than happy to produce a video. Just make sure you leave a comment below and uh, maybe I'll make one in the future. What is important about your diet though, is that you find a diet that works for you, that you're happy with, that gives you the energy you need with vigorous work while you're on travel and to keep going and also something that keeps you at a manageable healthy weight even when you're not on travel something that you can sustain for the long term i don't particularly follow any popular diets however i have tried many of them in the past maybe not so much because i'm always trying to lose weight but I'm always trying to maintain my weight. If I gain a few pounds, my mindset is, okay, I got to get down. I'm always monitoring a target weight. And today, it's a little bit easier for me to just kind of stick to a two meal a day plan. And I try and watch the calories I eat, make sure that hopefully they are different kinds of foods. So I have kind of different nutrition coming in. And I make sure it's high in proteins and fats and ideally, natural carbs being non-complex carbs and uh, I'm definitely not sugar however I do enjoy my sweets particularly ice cream I like my noodles I like pizza and and uh, and these things are not so healthy so I acknowledge those things are not healthy for me and I have to control myself eat those in moderation and so acknowledging that is an important thing and when I'm on travel, I try to, you know, treat these as a special thing and a rare thing so that I don't lose control and start gaining weight. And I do watch my weight. So when I start gaining weight, I try to lose it. And it's important to eat those meals at the least frequency as you can. In conclusion, there is no magic bullet that is going to make you an iron man or woman. However, if you follow these tips I gave you and put importance on your your fitness, your sleep, your diet, and your hydration levels while on travel and you focus on those and you keep them in good health, you will find you have significantly more energy. You're going to keep going. You're going to be performing at higher levels. And I hope when you are performing at those high intense levels, I catch you out there and we can travel together and adventure together in the future or that you just have an amazing adventure on your next trip if you want to know more about fitness i am i made some more videos about fitness and they'll show up here on the card to my right to my left and and i will let youtube recommend one other video for you next as well if you like this video make sure you smash that like button it helps the video grow and i certainly appreciate it until next time